I'm standing on a blood puddle. The world is killing all my dreams. I'm holding out. Hello, I am Katie Cadence or Cadence's Wishes. I'm 18 years old from Argentina and the most important thing about me is that my dream has always been to be a successful singer and songwriter. And yes, I had to say it in that dramatic way, always, because it's the truth. You can ask anyone in my family and they will confirm it. They will confirm that I have always been the most annoying person on the planet when it comes to my dream. Since I was a kid, it's all I have ever wanted. So I'm being very serious and I'm working on my dream. Not part of any record label. I don't know if you have to be part of a record label to achieve this dream. I don't know what you have to do. I don't know the steps to follow but I'm working on it as much as I can and that is what I'm doing with this YouTube channel. I upload these covers and original songs because of two reasons. One, because I love it. <laughs> two, because I'm hoping that maybe someone will see them one day and they will like me enough to give me a chance. And I'm always open to chances and opportunities and if that's someone I'm talking about is watching this video right now, then I have my social media and my email in the description if you want to contact me or something. So yes, here's another video. I have uploaded three original songs on my YouTube channel. The first one is called Make Me Forget. The second one is called Crazy Little Girl. and. The third and most recent one is called Happiness is a Sad Song. In this video, I'm going to explain the lyrics of this song, Happiness is a Sad Song, line by line. So if you like the song, pay attention because I'm explaining everything here. I wrote it at college last year during one of my classes. I was feeling very frustrated and sad because I didn't like the major that I had chosen. I felt like I had chosen the wrong major and at that exact moment I was looking around, looking at all of my classmates and of course they were all paying attention to the teacher, taking notes, as they should. <laughs> Instead I was writing what I was feeling in my notebook and I was writing it in the format of a poem so I knew I was going to turn it into a song sooner or later, and I was right. <laughs> I'm standing on a blood paddle. The world is killing all my dreams. At that moment when I was looking at all of my classmates and, as I said, they were paying attention, taking notes, I felt like they, they n knew what they wanted to do. They were there and they knew that they wanted to be there. I didn't want to be there and I felt like I felt like I made a huge mistake and I felt like I was standing on a blood puddle. The blood is like a metaphor of my mistake because I'm standing on this red blood and everyone is seeing it because blood is like you cannot not see blood. <laughs> and the same thing happens with mistakes. Everyone watches your mistakes and that's embarrassing. <laughs> the world is killing all my dreams. I think that is very obvious. It means exactly that. <laughs> um, I knew that I made a mistake choosing that major. I knew I didn't like it, but now how did I get out of there? Like what was I supposed to do? Drop out of college? But if I did that then I didn't know what else to study and I didn't know how to get a job. I didn't know what job to get. So I was very confused and I was feeling very lost and nothing or nobody was giving me answers. I was alone and I felt like the world was laughing at me. I felt like life was making fun of me. The next line, I'm holding a balloon of innocence. I really like it 
because yes, I am standing on a blood paddle, I am standing on this huge mistake I made and everyone is watching and the world is making fun of me, but there is something that you're never going to take away from me and that is my innocence. I always have little me, like the kid version of myself, I always have her present with me. I'm always thinking about her. I know life can get really hard, but what keeps me going is the passion I have for music and for my dream. And you know, little kids never uh, think small. They never dream small. They dream big. And I am sure that maybe some people will watch this video and they will think stuff like this girl is ridiculous. She's never going to achieve that dream because it's ridiculous. She's never going to be famous and that's valid. It's not true. It's not true, <laughs> but it's valid. Even I think those things sometimes, but I don't want to pay attention to those people and those thoughts. I would rather pay attention to that little girl who is inside me who thinks she can do it because she doesn't know the word no. She doesn't know that word and she knows she's capable of doing it and she is going to do it. So I would rather pay attention to her because why not? The next line, did I choose the wrong career? Well, that's very obvious. It's me having that question. Did I make a mistake? Did I choose the wrong major? And if I did, how can I fix it? I want to stand out from the crowd and die at the same time. That is kind of dark <laughs> and it means exactly that. My dream is to be a famous singer and of course if you're famous then you will stand out from other people because everyone knows who you are and I want to be like that. And I know it sounds kind of... Mm, I don't know. Uh, it sounds kind of kind of ugly, but it's the truth. I, I'm going to be honest. I want to be famous. So yeah, I want to be that type of person, the type of person who stands out. I want to be like that, but at the same time, I want to die. <laughs> at the same time, I don't want to try anymore. At the same time, I'm tired of this. Like, I have been trying for such a long time and nothing is happening or things are happening but very slowly and i'm exhausted so yeah i want that but at the same time i want to give up i want to change my name and move to mars but i'm scared that they'll find out see i think i'm a very contradicting person because yes i want to be famous however at the same time i don't want anyone to know my name I don't want anyone to see my face. I don't want anyone to know me. I want to go away. I don't want to talk to people. I don't want to have a conversation never again in my life. I want to be alone for the rest of my life. And I think both of those things can exist at the same time. And if you are a contradicting person like me, uh, maybe with other things, like maybe not the same exact situation as me, but maybe with other things, please write it in the comments because I would love to read that. I would love to meet crazy people like me. <laughs> now the chorus, happiness is a sad song. Happiness is a sad song. Love. This quote is not mine. I, I mean, it's part of the song, but it's not that I created <laughs> this quote. I took it from the iconic fashion icon, um, one of my biggest inspirations, Ruby Gloom. If you don't know what Ruby Gloom is, then you can look it up because you have Google. <laughs> but no, it's a cartoon and uh, they also used to sell merchandising here in my country. I think they didn't. but. But yeah, the cartoon at least was aired on television and she is a goth character, but she is very optimistic at the same time. And that is exactly how I am. Like, yes, I have this melancholic appearance. I look like I, I want to die and maybe I want to sometimes, but I also want to live. 
Uh, as I said, I can be both things at the same time. Uh, so yeah, I took it from Ruby Gloom. I think it's a very clever phrase. I think it's very clever, very funny, sarcastic. I love it. So of course, credits to Ruby Gloom, whoever created Ruby Gloom. I don't know who it is. In the context of my song, it means that this is my happiness. Having a melancholic expression on my face all the time, crying because of everything. This is my happiness. And I know it looks like sadness to you, but to me, it's happiness. <laughs> it's kind of sarcastic. I'm about to leave my teenage years, which is scary. Uh, this year I turn 19, but these past few years, which were my teenage years, were supposed to be the best of my life because, every, you know, movies, shows, the characters most of the time they're like 15 16 and they show it to be this beautiful fantasy something really beautiful you find uh your first love you fall in love all of these opportunities happen to you and you have a great time well that didn't happen to me i had a horrible time <laughs> i had a horrible time so how come this was supposed to be my happiness but it ended up being my my sadness so adults they always say stuff like no you have to enjoy being this age i would love to be 16 again well when i was 16 i was thinking thoughts that i cannot sh share on youtube because i don't really know if you can say those words on youtube so so people think these years are supposed to be happiness but no no no, no. The second part of the song is So Me. Well, all of the lyrics are So Me because I wrote them, but still. I'm that girl you see for a while, never gonna stay in your life. She has too many things to do. Truth is, her dreams are before you. This means that I always have a falling out with people. I started to accept the fact that I'm the kind of person who's not supposed to be in anyone's life for too long because that never happens to me and I tried to comfort myself many times by telling myself that I'm just built different which I am <laughs> I'm just I'm just different and better uh, I am different I'm not better obviously but it's the kind of thing you say to yourself to make yourself feel better but Deep down, you know it's a lie. That line, she has too many things to do. Truth is her dreams are before you. It kind of reminds me of the song Oh No by Marina. Um, I don't know if you know it, and if you don't, you should listen to it because it's so good. That whole album is so good, The Family Jewels. It's like something that I tell myself to make myself feel better. You know, this happened for a reason. You're not meant to have friends. You're not meant to have a relationship with someone. You only have to work and work and work on your dreams. And when they see that you're famous, you're successful, blah, 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 they're going to regret everything. And it's a very revengeful thought to have. It's, it's not very healthy. I know. Please don't insult me for this. I know it's not healthy, but that's what writing songs is for, to write your darkest thoughts that you should tell a therapist, but this is also a way to cope, so you cannot judge me. They say I should open my mouth, but I never speak. I only talk, talk when I sing. I'm not a killer. I only killed criticism. This verse has to do with my major, actually. Um, my first language is Spanish, and the thing I'm studying is called locución. And I don't know if it has a proper translation, but I think it would be something like communications or media studies. So it sounds really boring and it is, yeah. If you think it's boring, you're right. Congratulations. I said this verse has to do with my major because um, it's communications. Of course, you have to talk, you have to communicate, you have to write, but not in the way you think, not in the fun way, not in the creative way. Like, you do not have to write songs, you do not have to write stories. You have to write. 
news. That's right, news. N no shade, by the way. Like, it takes talent, effort, um, patience. Like, it's really hard to do that. I know because uh, I'm studying this and I hate it. Uh, but there, there are people who like that. So, I'm not that kind of person. I am not going to appear on TV to tell you what happened this morning on da 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 street. I'm not. If I'm going to appear on TV, it's going to be because I'm giving a concert, I'm giving an interview, I'm I'm talking about my new album, I'm talking about a song like I'm doing now. I am a part of a music event. So one of the things that my teachers always scold me for is because I never talk. I always talk like this. I never open my mouth. I hope they never watch this video because if they do, I mean, they don't know my YouTube channel, so I think they won't, <laughs> but you never know. But my teachers, some of, a teacher, some, but one of my teacher has told me the same thing twice she told me i have never heard your voice before which is annoying they always say that to shy people and it's getting old it's getting old so my only way of expressing myself is by writing what i feel and then singing it the only way i'm going to talk loudly is when i sing because I'm not meant to talk, I'm meant to sing. <laughs> and the line, I'm not a killer, I only kill to criticism. Okay, the first half, I'm not a killer, is because people sometimes find me, uh, they find me way too shy, sometimes even cold, uh, and sometimes they think I'm scary. Okay. I'm not. Well, I think I'm not. <laughs> The thing is, I'm I'm too shy to the point that sometimes it's hard to talk to people. So sometimes I really want them to get the right impression. Sometimes I really want them to get the right impression of me. And I'm like, no, 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 I'm, I'm not this way. I'm not, I'm just shy. I'm not mean. Obviously, I appreciate and I receive constructive criticism, but it makes me feel bad anyway. And yes i'm a crybaby yes uh like obviously i am going to thank the person because it's something to be grateful for but i am not going to deny it makes me feel terrible because I, it's like oh oh it, it makes me feel frustrated sometimes i push it away like i say thank you and i go on with my life uh which is something you should not do by the way you should take the constructive criticism you should take it but I am not going to deny, sometimes I push it away. I'm, I'm killing criticism, constructive or not. I'm killing it because I can't handle it. Oh my god, this song talks about all of my flaws. I'm, by the way, I am going to therapy. I have been going to therapy for a year. Um, so please don't say stuff like you need to go to therapy. I already go to therapy. The bridge, be yourself or give in not a price I'm willing to pay. And this is when I finally realized that, yes, I did make a mistake. I will not doubt this anymore. I will not try to make myself think, no, no, you did not make a mistake. You're just having doubts, which is fine, but you did not make a mistake. No, yes, I, I made a mistake. <laughs> I chose the wrong major. I don't know what I have to do, but I don't want to give in to a life I don't want to live. Well, in my case, it means that I should keep fighting for my dreams, I should keep singing, I should keep writing songs, I should keep posting everything on the internet, even if I think I'm making a fool of myself, even if people think I am ugly, I don't have talent, I don't know how to sing, my songs are trash, even if it all feels horrible. I need to keep doing this because how do I see myself? at the end. How does my story end? I think my story will end with me being a singer. <laughs> I made a mistake, but that doesn't mean that everything is done, that this is the end. 
it doesn't mean that I got a bad ending and that that is it. No, I can keep playing the game. <laughs> the melody that writes my book, I'll try to change it. Well, uh, this sad melody that I'm used to, I will try to change it. Happiness sounds like a sad song now, but I think if I give it time and if I keep working on it, uh, it will sound like a gorgeous, happy melody. So I will keep writing my book until I see the changes I want. Because as I said earlier, I'm not going to take no for an answer. Never. And then the song ends with I'm standing on a blood paddle. I thought it would be good to end the song the same way it starts. And at first it's like a really negative I'm standing on a blood paddle. I made a huge mistake, I don't know what to do. But now it's like, yes, I made a huge mistake and I don't know what to do, but I will keep trying. <laughs> it's not so bad to stand on a blood puddle. Oh, I'm tired, that is my song. Here I have the lyrics, by the way, and the meaning of it. I wrote down what I was going to say in the video. Um, so yes, uh, this is my baby. And I love it. I love all of my songs because they're my children. I am a mother of my songs. <laughs> uh, I have three babies. I am a mother of Make Me Forget, Crazy Little Girl, and Happiness is a Sad Song. And soon more songs, more babies. Soon I will give birth to more children. Songs, music, children. Okay, bye. If you watched the whole video, I have two things to say to you, three things actually. One, thank you so much. Two, uh, you know how much, how badly I want to be a singer and songwriter, you know. So three, I'm asking you to please support me, please follow me on Instagram, Tumblr, and I don't have, I don't have anything else, just Instagram and Tumblr. My username is Cadence's Wishes, same as here on both platforms and I also have a blog which is really pretty so you should add it to your bookmarks on your computer and or your phone and you should check it from time to time because it's really cute um so yes bye